So who came out the winner? Was it Park Geun-hye or Moon Jae-in? That question is hard to answer because the debate did not turn out to be a straight duel between Park and Moon. The buzz in Korean political circles following last night's TV debate is all about the ultra-left candidate Lee Jong-hee, who does not have a chance at winning but stole the spotlight nevertheless. Our Kim Hyun-ji breaks it down for us. Experts disagree on which of the three candidates came out ahead after the debate. But they all seem to agree on one thing. The minority unified Progressive Party candidate Lee Jong-hee took the spotlight away from Park Geun-hye and Moon Jae-in. The leftist candidate Lee bluntly declared that she joined the presidential race only to block Park from taking power, and hurled a barrage of barbed comments at Park throughout the debate. I'm here to take you down. My goal is to see a progressive administration take power. Candidate Park is a rogan and acts self-righteously. If Park goes to the presidential office, she will become a dictatorial queen. Korea may need a female president, but not a queen. Although the debate was designed to let voters hear the candidates' pledges concerning political reform as well as North Korea and foreign affairs, E often sidestepped the topics, solely focusing on rattling the ruling party contender. E's all-out attack made Park stumble here and there, and analysts say the showdown between the two female candidates left Moon as a third wheel. Critics say E, a candidate with less than one person support, stopped voters hearing the two leading candidates explain their platforms. The minor opposition UPP leader was invited to participate in the debate because electoral law allows candidates from political parties to take part if they have five or more seats in parliament. Park and Moon did, however, manage to go head to head on issues of corruption and North Korea. Park called for appointing a special prosecutor to handle high-profile corruption cases, who will be named immediately after a case surfaces and authorized to investigate and deliver punitive measures. Moon said he will set up a separate body of prosecutors tasked with dealing with corruption involving high-level officials. On North Korea, Park said Pyongyang must first denuclearize, or the two Koreas begin economic cooperation. On the other hand, Moon pledged to follow through on joint agreements reached between the two Koreas. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.